The following game has a dark atmosphere. It's not intended for children. Warning for flashing lights. It was an ordinary day. On this ordinary day, in an ordinary bus, Nao was sitting by himself, staring out of the window. There was nothing interesting to look at at this side of town. He was just passing time, absentmindedly waiting for a stop to be announced. Nao paid no attention to his surroundings, and in return, hoped to remain unperceivable as well. This was his routine. It had been for many years, and he hadn't wished for this to change. Yet on this particular morning, something odd occurred. Excuse me. Yeah? Sorry to bother you, but you seem super familiar. What's your name? Huh? It, it's now. I knew it! I'm Siren! Do you remember me? As soon as he heard that name, distant memories from high school came rushing in. They were mostly blurry images from a time now had long forgotten. It's been forever. How have you been? Are you working or still pursuing a higher degree? I remember you being like super smart. You're probably doing something sciencey, right? Uh wait, don't say it. Let me guess. You're an astrologist. Um, do you mean an astronomer? Oh right! Astrology is like star signs, right? <laughs> Always get those two mixed up. Whoopsie. That's super cool though. I wish I was smart enough to study the stars. I'm not an astronomer. I work in net security. Oh! I mean, duh, would have totally been my next guess. Who would guess net security as their second guess? Jesus. As for me, I have my own fashion label now. It's still small and I don't have a particular store or anything, but eh, I'll get there. Speaking of, I'm so in love with your jacket. Where'd you get it? The center. Are you going to the center right now? Could you show me where it is? Do you know any other cool stores? Uh... No, I'm driving to work. Wow, you start late. I never get to start late with my part-time job. Ah, Like, I know I gotta keep a side gig for now, but it can be helped. Seriously though, working at retail should be considered a human rights violation. Because let me tell you, some of the customers I get, the actual worst. Like just the other day, while Siren went on a tangent at a speed now struggled to keep up with, now grew increasingly nervous. As their conversation continued, he felt a strange sense of deja vu. He wasn't sure, but his gut told him that this wasn't a good thing. Also, it wasn't a stop yet. He could easily walk the remaining distance. With the next stop was announced by the announcer, now got up. Anyway, I have to go. Yeah. It was so nice to see you again. We should totally meet up sometime. Give me a phone, real quick. Sorry, I don't have it with me. You're kidding! I could never leave the house without my phone. I'd actually die. Huh, what to do, what to do. Yeah, I know. Let me hand you all my business cards. Uh, okay. The feeling was growing. Now start fidgeting with the hem of his coat while he waited for Siren to fish out his card. Ah, oh, could have sworn I put him in here. One sec. I really need to go. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll just... It kind of feels like fate that we met again after such a long time, you know? Like, what are the chances? And there's so much more to catch up on. Ah. Uh, oh god. What's going on? Suddenly all the lights of the bus started flickering. And just like that, the world had gone dark. No. Oh. Okay. A distant memory. The classroom during lunch break. As usual, Nao was sitting by himself. He didn't have any friends. So it came as a surprise to him when somebody sat down at his table and cheerfully smiled at him. Oh. So they were classmates. He didn't remember what they talked about. But the classroom did seem a bit brighter that day. Well, that's a tragedy. Man, Siren really got that JoJo pose. Oof. What just happened? Everything went dark. Yeesh. Ugh. Now his eyes needed a few moments to get used to the darkness. Not only had the lights inside the bus gone out, outside was completely dark as well. Now, are you okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Got a little spooked, but eh, I'll survive. That's good. The feeling of relief didn't last very long. Soon now realized that everyone else had disappeared. Um, weren't there other passengers before? Oh gosh, were there? I was so absorbed in our conversation. Maybe they all like got off while we were talking. Maybe. Or they went to the driver to complain. This is what people know best. Just complain all day. Not like the driver can help it either, right? Also, I don't know. Whatever happened can't be that bad. Like, the bus is literally still running. Yeah, I think we're just in a tunnel or something. Because the reception sucks. Whatever. I'm sure once we get out of the tunnel, it'll be bright as day again. I don't know. Maybe we should talk to the driver as well. If that's okay. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think now will be a good time to save. All right. Let's go look for the driver. Hey, yo, bus driver. Yellow. God, this bus just goes on forever. Wow, it, it really just keeps going. At this point, Nao had noticed the bus seemed a bit longer than he remembered. Everything all right? Yeah, I just thought that we should have reached the driver by now. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Maybe that's like a thing in this town, like a tourist attraction. Extra long buses! Not really. Yeah, I'm just kidding. It probably just seems long because we're a little on edge, right? Maybe. Alright, let's keep it going. Wow. Does the bus go all the way? Holy heck. Man, I'm really deep inside. Huh, yeah, maybe the bus is getting a bit too long. But let's not assume anything bad just yet. And keep going on, I mean. We gotta reach somewhere eventually, right? Yeah. And let's keep on going. God, who knows what's gonna be at the end of the tunnel. God. I wonder if the bus driver's cute. <laughs> Man. Things I should not be thinking about right now. What's up? I could have sworn. Was there something? Never mind. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Should I keep going straight? I'm not sure. There doesn't seem to be any other direction I could go. Huh. Let's talk about something. So, what do you like to do when you're not working? Uh, sleep. I meant like hobbies and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Are you into anime? You seem like someone who'd like anime. Not really. I don't have a computer at home. What? What about your phone? Uh, it's too old. But you work with computers, right? Yeah, but... I don't want to work at home as well. Ah, okay, fair enough. Then what else are you doing at home? A talk? Uh, I mean... You talk? Like with friends on the phone? Or what do you mean? Yeah, that. So you were able to make friends. Ow! Ow, Siren! Ow! Oh well, you were always alone before. It's good that that's changed, I mean. No, oh, okay. Man, I'm, I kind of appreciate that Siren is like making small talk along the way. Gosh. Also, like... I don't know if it's a good time to spoil it, but apparently there's going to be a big twist at the end. I'm not sure what exactly is the twist. That's what we're here for. Hello? You saw it too. Yeah, so that's what you saw before. But what is it? No, you think it might be another passenger. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's catch up to them. So a little rude to just run away, don't you think? Wait. Wait. Is there something I'm supposed to be paying attention to on the screen? No oh god. Wait. The frick? Whoa, am I high or is that like grass growing from the ground? Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Pretty? Yeah. Maybe they should add plants to more public transportations. I'm not sure that the plants will be too happy. Oh. Huh. The ones here seem to be fine, though. That's because they're... Huh? Never mind. Uh, how do you know about the grass? They kind of look like hands. Are they- 
It's the grass throwing hands at me. What the frick? There really is grass everywhere. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's just another mushroom. God. Where's there just like grass and mushroom all over? Ooh. You know, this whole overgrown theme in here just got me the idea for my next print. Give me a moment while I write it down. Now? Duh! Else I'll forget it. Yeah, okay. Well, now waited for Siren to finish his sketch. He silently watched him. Something about his presence was oddly comforting to now. Almost as if he was right in school, sitting together at lunch, sharing notes. Now quickly shook off this feeling. And got it. Thanks for waiting. Always get a strike when the iron's hot. You get me? Not really. I'm not much of an artist. Really? I bet you'd make, like, super interesting art if you tried. As they say, quiet rivers are big. No, that doesn't sound right. Quiet rivers run dry? Wait, that doesn't even make sense. Uh, still waters run deep. Yeah, that's it. You're so smart. But, like, honestly, maybe that's just your problem. You think too much. You need to feel more. You get me? You okay? You'll try. Uh, I'm not sure what you want me to try. There are straight up trees in this bus. What? How did they get trees in a bus? Um, they're back. Siren, I don't think that's a person. You know, now that you say it, yeah, I don't think that's a person either. Huh. But like, what is it then? I'm not sure we should find out. What if it's friendly? It's not like Atakius or anything. Besides, it's in our way anyway, so... Don't worry, I won't let anything bad happen to you. Okay. Wait, legit, what is that? I just got... I just randomly got the chills. No clue why, it's probably nothing. Should we take a break? Thank you, but it's okay. I'm just feeling a little under the weather. It'll go away. You're yeah, right. You say so. Uh, I guess we'll just keep chugging along. Yeah, through the trees and more trees. God, this is trippy. What is going on with now? What's going on in this bus? Now? Yeah. Yeah, well, am I coming a bit too strong sometimes? I mean, like, not just now, back then as well. Huh? I never, um, thought that. Really? Of course. You were very kind to me. Then, why didn't you tell me before moving away? It was complicated. I'm sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry for bringing this up now. It just weighed on me a little. That's all. Let's forget about all that and get a move on. As they say, past in the past, right? Right. I don't think now is okay. I feel like now is hiding something. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Now? Yeah? Would you be down to hang out again after this? Like somewhere cozy, yeah? That would... Let's uh, focus on getting out first. God, this is getting a bit trippy. What is going on? Like, jeez. Why is there mushroom? Man. And the trees. Now. Huh? Weird question, but... What would you do if we're, like, actually stuck here? I don't know. Right. I guess you wouldn't. My God. God, there's just so much going on, and... Look, honestly, say I, I don't know what to say at this point. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with the story. And I'm drawing up blanks. Like, heck, I, I have no idea where this is gonna go. Siren? Be honest with me. Am I a nuisance? No, that's... I just keep asking myself where I went wrong. I'm so happy to see you again, but... You've just been trying to get away from me, haven't you? 
Maybe you even blame me for all this mess. Maybe if I hadn't talked to you, then none of this... Is this my fault? No, you have it all wrong. I... I'm bad at expressing my feelings. And... I was always afraid that I might get attached. And then you'd grow tired of me and... I'd be alone all over again. Sorry. I thought I'd do you a favor if I disappeared from your life. What? I... I heard you. But sh are, are you like serious right now? Of course you wouldn't do me a favor by disappearing, you dumbass. Like, why would I spend time with you if I didn't like it? Did you think I didn't have other friends to bother? Be for real with me. Yeah, but might grow tired of me eventually, right? No, uh, not in a hundred years. I am L O Y A L. Sticks and stones and all that jazz. And I'm not allowing you to be self deprecating on my watch. You're wonderful. And if your other friends aren't telling you that enough, then. Well, maybe you need better friends. Just saying. Yeah. I really got worked up there, huh? Sorry I had to hear all that. This place is really starting to get to me. I'll tell you that. But since we finally cleared up this misunderstanding, I'm back in action. So let's kick some butt. Get out of here and then... Go. I don't know. Let's go to karaoke afterwards. No. Karaoke? No way! I, I can't sing! Oh, don't worry. I'll sing the first song for you. And if it sounds silly, at least we'll sound silly together. Yeah. Okay. But you have to promise not to laugh. Ugh. People who laugh at others during karaoke are the worst. If anyone ever laughs at you for singing, I will beat them up. Alright. That's got my spirit back up. Now, let's make like a tree and get out of here ASAP. Do you mean make like a tree and leave? <laughs> okay, Siren. Whatever you say, buckaroonie. And Siren's like a heck of sweet friend, though. Jeez. Uh, Siren. Huh? About karaoke. I don't think I can sing after all, so can I just come and listen? Ah, uh, I promise you. You'll absolutely love it if you give it a try. I don't know. What if I embarrass myself? You know, she likes super out of tune as well, but it doesn't matter to me. Because I'm just happy that she's having fun. At first, she didn't want to go to karaoke with me either. And now I can barely get her to pass me the mic. So you'll be in great hands with us. You'll see. Sheila. A new character is like... Introduced. Who... Huh? Sorry, I was just wondering. Uh, who is Sheila? Oh, right, I never told you about her. Sheila is my wonderful girlfriend. She's also the reason that I'm here in the first place. So, she lives in this town. Yeah, it's that huge, pretty building near the center. Oh, you should totally come visit us while I'm there. You love Sheila. She's so cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, finally! Ugh. Is that? What is this? The door! Phew! Maybe you could tell, but I was starting to get a little worried there. But that just proves once again that a positive attitude is all you need. Well, most of the time, anyway. Huh. I guess it doesn't open automatically. Well, then. <sighs> Don't just stand there. Let me pry this open. Right. Sorry. Even after using all their strength, the door wouldn't even open an inch. You've got to be kidding. Uh, uh, I mean, no worries. I'm sure we just missed like a switch or something. Maybe the thing we ran into before is the key. Yeah, something like that. Let's just stay calm and retrace our steps. This is just another roadblock. Nothing more. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, looks like we're going back. It didn't matter how long they searched. You couldn't find anything that would open the door. I'm starting to wonder if... 
I am the one who's messed up here. It was impossible to say how much time had passed, but eventually, the limbs grew tired. Just for a moment, now had a dream. Dream. Am I being bullied? Or are these my friends? I can't tell. Who are these people? Why are these people? Where are these people? When are these people? It was a cherished memory. But perhaps, now thought, I ruined it now. What do you mean by that? Now? Siren. Are you asleep? Siren? What is that? You again. What's up with you? What is that? Don't look at me like that. Do you think I wanted this to happen? I left him behind for his own good. I didn't want him to see this part of me. Try to get away. I... It's his own fault, you know? He came back for me, even though I ran away. He's the only one who has ever fought for me. He's the only one... I thought that maybe we could leave together. And then... We could... I couldn't let him leave after all. He'd choose her over me. <laughs> what am I even saying? You're not judging me. You're just hungry, aren't you? I'll be heading out for a bit. If I come back and you've harmed just a single hair on his body, I'll make sure that you experience something worse than hell. It's not just you and me from now on, so I expect you on your best behavior. You got that? But it's okay. We don't have to fight. We can help each other. You'll keep him safe. And I'll bring you food. I heard there's a pretty building near the center. Make sure Siren has sweet dreams while I'm gone. See you soon, Siren. After all, you're mine now and forever. What in the world just happened? Gosh, I really did not expect that ending. I absolutely did not expect that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. Um... Yeah, this was also made for this year's Yandere Game Jam, and I am hoping they'll actually get through to playing, like, all the games that's been released uh, as a result of this jam, but anyway, I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day, and as always, I will be seeing you in the next video. It's Lionel, signing off. Ciao.